WWDC is coming in less than one month and we've been getting loads of leaks for new products and innovative software features, including the chance that Apple will admit defeat over their lackluster Apple intelligence launch and actually adopt Google's Gemini AI software. So with that said, let's jump into the 10 huge Apple releases that we should expect at WWDC, starting with number one, which is Google Gemini integration. As we know, the Apple intelligence launch was a huge failure compared to the S25 Ultra series, which came with Google Gemini, and it destroyed the iPhone in multiple ways, like for number one, Samsung's generative AI photo editing, which went viral by being able to basically recreate your face with your hand blocking it and destroying Apple's cleanup tool. There's also the Gemini voice assistant, which just completely killed Siri. And just about a week ago, Google's CEO suggested at a court hearing that iOS 19 will feature built-in Gemini integration. So this basically shows that if Apple can't beat them, they're gonna join them. Now for number two, we're expecting a wide scale, massive iOS 19 redesign, the biggest that we have ever seen. And the cool thing is that Mark Gurman recently said that Apple is pushing their engineers to make sure that iOS 19 is more functional and less glitchy. And I don't know about you, but I would rather just pause for a year and get everything running very reliably again before adding all these new crazy features. But the great thing this year is that Apple's not only doing that, but they're also giving us a full redesign as well at the same time with a new design that looks more glass-like, like Vision OS. And there's certain features that are being added, like a new camera app, a new floating tab bar. Both John Prosser and Mark Gurman say that this is gonna be the biggest iOS 19 redesign since iOS 7. Now moving on to number three, one product that we're expecting is the M4 Ultra Mac Pro. Now, Apple recently launched the Mac Studio and it was really weird for them to have both the M4 Max chip option and the older gen M3 Ultra chip for a lot more cash, which didn't really make sense, but Mark Gurman made sense of this by saying that Apple is actually planning to release the Mac Pro later this year with the M4 Ultra to make sure that the Mac Pro always stands above the Mac Studio in terms of the performance and the feature set. So we should be looking out for a Mac Pro announcement at WWDC. Now for number four, this is a huge leak from Mark Gurman that's gonna help basically every iPhone user out there. iOS 19 will apparently feature a brand new AI battery management feature, which will constantly use AI to analyze the way that you use your phone and make adjustments in real time to cut down on your battery usage. Now it is said that they mainly created this with the iPhone 17 Air in mind since that's coming this September. I actually have it right here, the dummy model, this thing is absolutely insanely thin, so they can use as much battery life enhancements and optimizations as they can get. But keep in mind that that new AI battery feature will likely be available on every phone that supports iOS 19. Now for number five, Apple is starting to slowly ditch Google search as people are using it less and less and turning to AI search options, like let's say there's ChatGPT, Perplexity, a lot of people are starting to use Grok in the X app. Of course, soon there's gonna be Gemini integration. And recently, Apple senior vice president, Eddie Q, said that Apple is actively looking at reshaping Safari around AI search instead of Google search. He even said that in 10 years time, people might not even need an iPhone based on this new AI technology shift that is happening. So within iOS 19, Apple's gonna introduce a brand new way to search within Safari, making it so much quicker and easier to search for info without getting flooded with Google search ads that are all over the place and instead just getting your info instantly. Now for number six, iOS 19 will be the best multitasking update ever released with Imagine Boo claiming that it'll enable support for Stage Manager for iPhones that have a USB-C port like the iPhone 15, the 16, and of course the 17 that's coming. Now, Stage Manager is available 
for Apple's iPad, and it's kind of their way of when you connect to a display, you get nice multitasking. Now, it's not as good as Mac OS, but it's at least better than anything we've had before, and now it's coming to the iPhone. So imagine this, you're gonna be able to plug this in to a display and use it like a computer for the first time ever, so I'm really excited to try it. Now, moving on to number seven, we are getting a hugely upgraded AI voice feature called personal voice. Now, apparently this has been out since iOS 17 where it kind of allows you to create your own AI voice, basically a copy of your voice in about 15 minutes of work. But now Apple is upgrading it for iOS 19, making it much faster to use it only takes about one minute, apparently, with about 10 phrases, giving you a much smoother and more natural sounding AI version of your voice. And you'll be able to use it with a feature called live speech, which lets users type in what they wanna say and then have it be spoken out loud during, let's say, in-person conversations, phone calls, and FaceTime video calls. So it could be really useful if you get a really bad sore throat, or of course, if there's more severe issues that might happen. Now for number eight, we have another product and that's gonna be the brand new Apple Studio Display Pro. Yes, this is gonna be an upgraded display. It's gonna be 27 inches with mini LED technology, which is a lot better than LCD. 120 Hertz Pro Motion for the first time for an Apple external display, apparently even quantum dot display technology, which is gonna make it look even better. It's likely gonna launch alongside the Mac Pro and likely at a lower price than that crazy 32 inch Pro Display XDR, that thing was crazy overpriced. It's probably gonna be the best Apple display option out there and it's gonna be pretty dang good. Now moving on to number nine, Apple is adding tons of iOS 19 accessibility features and some CarPlay upgrades, which I'm really excited about since I now have CarPlay and it works so well. One thing that's coming is that background sounds are gonna become easier to personalize with new EQ settings. You're gonna have a timer to stop sounds automatically, new shortcuts, new minimized distraction features and things that can help with tinnitus. There's also gonna be some eye tracking upgrades for the iPhone and iPad, which will be able to make selections better. There's also head tracking upgrades that are coming for both the iPhone and iPad to control things on your device. Apple's even going all out and creating a brain computer interface, which is apparently gonna be supported with a new switch control protocol for people with severe mobility disabilities and a bunch of other accessibility features as well. And now finally for the 10th thing, this is another product. We're expecting AirTags 2 to get launched at WWDC. And this is gonna come with upgraded wireless chips, including a new ultra wide band chip, which is gonna have a huge upgrade, which basically increases the tracking distance from about 10 to 30 meters to 30 to 90 meters away, which is a huge upgrade since a lot of times it's hard hard to find your AirTag unless you get really, really close to it, then it kind of kicks on the precise location mode. This is gonna be a massive upgrade compared to the original, make it so much easier to find. So there you guys go, those were 10 new major announcements and products that we're expecting at WWDC in less than one month. Let me know down in the comment section below which one you think is gonna be the most exciting and which one you're looking for. Definitely subscribe above for more videos like this one and check out one of those two right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.